This lecture covers the basic properties of lattices, then what is a distributive lattice and few examples. Here we have a lattice with five elements a, b, c, 0 and 1. This is the least element, this is the greatest element. When you take an element and if we perform meet on itself, it gives the same element a. Similarly, if we perform join operation a join a, it's again the same element a. This is ID importance property. Suppose if we choose two elements a and c, so if we perform the operation a meet c, the result is 0. What about c meet a? It's again 0. It doesn't really matter whether you perform the operation a to c or c to a, both give the same result. Therefore, it follows the property of commutative. Now, how about associativity? When we do the operation meet on A and B, so for AB, the meet is B, then dot C, so meet of B and C. So meet of B and C is 0. When we come here, meet of B dot C just now we have done that 0, then meet of a and 0 a and 0 is basically 0 we see that these two are equal so i can say that it follows the associativity similarly we can prove it for join as well now comes the absorption a dot b plus c so let's start with the brackets b plus c so for b and c the join is 1 then a dot 1. So for a and 1, the meet is a. So this I can write as a. On the same lines, we can even write this. These are the four properties followed by any lattice. Now, apart from this, there's one more property we need to test that is distributive. Now let's check whether these two are equal or not. So let's start from here. This is join of B and C. So for B and C, the join is 1. Then meet of A and 1. So meet of A and 1 is A. Here, meet of A and B. For A, B, the meet is B. And meet of AC. For AC, the meet is 0. Then the join of B and 0. So for B and 0, the join is B. We see that these two are not equal. So this particular lattice does not follow the property of distributive. It fails. And in fact, because we cannot uh, put an equality, here we see that A is at a higher level and B is at lower level. Therefore, I could write it the greater than symbol. This is greater than this. Does this mean that every lattice does not follow the distributive property? No, not necessarily. Let me give an example. When we test for this particular lattice, join of B and C. B and C, the join is C. Then meet of A and C. A and A and C, the meet is A. Here we have meet of A and B. So A, B, the meet is A. And meet of A and C. So A, C, the meet is A. And join of A and A. We already know join of A and A is A itself. Here we see that these two are equal. It means that there are few lattices which follow distributive property and there are few lattices which do not. Here there are two possibilities. Either it can be 
greater than or may be equal to. It really depends. On the same lines, we can also write this. And whenever a lattice follows distributive property, we call it as a distributive lattice. If not, it becomes a non distributive lattice like this. And before we end this, let me give you some distributive lattices and non distributive lattices. So, here are a few examples. So, every chain is a distributive lattice. This is also a distributive lattice. If you remember, this example we have already taken in the previous lecture. This is a set with uh, elements of power set and the operation was subset. So, even this forms a distributive lattice. You can check it. And these are non distributive lattices. Just now we have done this. And you can even try with this. This also becomes a non distributive lattice. The reason why I'm giving you this is uh, sometimes in the exam they'll directly give you a diagram and they'll ask you to check it. So these are the frequently asked diagrams. So better you memorize them. <laughs>